Researchers are also studying bottlenose dolphins on Florida's Atlantic coast. The Indian River Lagoon stretches along 40% or 156 miles of the state's central east coast. It is one of North America's most biologically diverse estuaries. We have an estimated population in the Indian River Lagoon of between 800 and as many as 1,000 dolphins. Come up on them a little bit. Steve McCulloch is the founder and program manager of the Marine Mammal Research and Conservation Program at Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute in Fort Pierce. Here in the Indian River Lagoon, the primary threats facing dolphins are pollution and contaminants and the water quality. The lagoon is very sensitive. What goes in the lagoon basically stays in the lagoon. Like their colleagues at Moat Marine Laboratory, each summer, researchers take an in-depth look at the health of the resident dolphins. Each animal receives a full physical exam. The whole process takes about 45 minutes, and during that time, we pull blood. We collect fluid samples, so fecal samples, urine samples, blowhole, gastric, milk, if it's a lactating female. We ultrasonographically look at blubber measurements to see the thickness. We also take a blubber biopsy, and that's a really important data point, and we use the blubber for several different things. We look at different contaminants. We also take the skin to look at genetics and if it's anything that has the potential to cause pain, they receive a local anesthetic for that area. We want them to be as comfortable as possible, but at the same time collect enough samples so we can get an overall picture of health for each individual. We've looked at about 240 dolphins in five years and found some very disturbing trends. For one, mercury levels in these dolphins were 21 times higher than what the Environmental Protection Agency considers safe for human consumption. You wouldn't be allowed to eat a dolphin because the wild dolphins are so contaminated here in Florida. Mercury is a heavy metal that's a, a deadly neurotoxin. In humans, that's been shown to have an effect, especially um, some neurodevelopmental issues, uh, which does obviously pose a significant threat to humans, especially pregnant women who might be eating fish from the lagoon. Mercury is released into the atmosphere from such sources as coal-fired power plants, and it eventually makes its way into the oceans, where it bioaccumulates up the food chain. Experts say they don't exactly know yet what effects high mercury levels have on the dolphins. They do know, however, that the dolphins are also facing other problems. One is a skin disease called lobomycosis. What's unique about this disease is that it's found in dolphins and, and humans only. And it's found in dolphins here in the Indian River Lagoon and also in third world countries and humans that are getting it from their water systems. It's a very challenging disease because to date we have not been able to 